Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about uh, valid versus invalid variable names. So we've already been using variables before. If you recall, I did some simple arithmetic and I stored that inside of a variable, which I called A. Okay, now I wanted to go through and talk about the different, uh, so what is correct and what is incorrect for a variable name and what kind of guidelines you should follow when you are creating these variable names. So um, to create a variable name, uh, first of all, you cannot have your variable start with a number. So if I say it's 6x equals 1, and I press enter, then you get an unexpected MATLAB expression. But if you type in x6 equals 1, okay, then x6 is equal to 1, and you can store the value 1 in a variable and call it x6. So everything works out perfectly. So uh, the, the first rule is you cannot start your variable with a uh, with a number okay another thing that you need to know is uh, you can't use like say a minus sign um, to name your variable okay so if, right now I'm saying uh, a minus equals one okay they there's an option in MATLAB so that you can say a minus one and store that in a and that's what that is but you can't have uh, the minus sign anywhere in your name so you can't say a b minus b c equals one okay you get that issue um, just like you can't use the minus sign you can't use the plus sign okay so that, that's another issue um, so pretty much the standard naming convention is you type in uh, a value for your variable okay you can use the underscore to continue typing other things um, in case you want to like write out a full name so my name okay you can use this underscore to continue and still provide that space between two uh, two different words okay so another thing I wanted to talk about was the uh, the keywords that already exist in MATLAB so if you type in is keyword you get this whole list of uh, words that are used in MATLAB which are uh, kind of defined and you cannot change them okay so break case catch for if while you know all these are names that you cannot use so if I said while equals one I can't use that okay now notice here that while turns blue okay this is kind of MATLAB telling you hey you know we're using this value like kind of go away you know don't don't mess with this okay so you cannot use any of these keywords and if you see it turn blue you probably can't add your uh, value to it or store your value in it as a variable okay so uh, another thing that you kind of want to understand in MATLAB is that although you can store a value inside a variable that's any other name you still want to kind of make sure that it's not being used somewhere else so uh, before we talked about max and how you can store or you can have different values input into the MATLAB function max so one two three okay and close the parentheses and if you do that you get the maximum value which is three now what if you do this max equals one let's find out okay max equals one now let me try to do the same function and all of a sudden it doesn't work so you've pretty much gone in and messed with everything MATLAB did to create that max function so you can no longer use this MATLAB max function unless you uh, go out and I guess kind of restart the program and I don't know if you can clear hold on let me check one second say max oh okay so that does work so you can actually clear the variable but you can see how that gets screwy and it can mess up with your whole uh, it can mess your whole code up so um, you may want to check that it's not being used by a function before you define it um, after a while you get used to it and you'll kind of know what things to avoid but um, if you're new you can also use the uh, the term exist and then type in max okay and if this value is not zero then it does exist somewhere so uh, you probably shouldn't use it so if I say exist B you get zero so nothing 
exists in the variable b so you can use it you don't have to worry about it messing anything up so um i hope that was helpful uh please let me know if you guys don't understand anything and i'll try to clarify uh, i'll see you guys next in the, in the next video uh, don't forget to comment like and subscribe